let us look at this question uh, which has been taken from uh, level 2 maths of uh, the standard uh, derivative and integral of uh, level 2 of 2010. Now this is a question of kinematics, so let's read the question. The distance s meters traveled by van t seconds after it starts moving is given by this function. s is for distance and t is for time. So it's t cube over 6 minus t squared over 4. Find the van's velocity at the end of 6 seconds after it started moving. Okay, now before we move on, s is say for distance or displacement. S is for displacement or distance. Okay, T is for time. So you should be knowing velocity is change in distance over change in time, which is nothing but in calculus we see the same thing as dS by dt. In physics you may learn V is delta d by delta t. Okay, the same thing in calculus. This is a, a big difference or uh, this is the change in the change in the distance over change of time gives you velocity. Of course in velocity you also have to state the direction. Velocity is a vector quantity so it has the magnitude and the direction. The only difference in calculus is ds is an infinitesimally small change in distance and dt is a, uh, uh, you can say, infinitesimally small or very, very small change in time. Okay, or this you can say instantaneous time and this is a very small uh, change in distance. So this is v is ds by dt and acceleration is change in velocity over change in time, the only difference we do is dv by dt. Now integration is the opposite of differentiation. So uh, if you integrate v with respect to time, you get distance. Okay, And if you integrate acceleration with respect to time, you get velocity. Okay, of course, plus constant. So, if you differentiate velocity with respect to time, you get acceleration. Okay, so let me make up a table. So, I have discussed this in one of the, my previous videos. So, if you've got S, and if you differentiate, and by diff, differentiate with respect to time, you get velocity. This is arrow. So when you're differentiating s, that is distance with respect to time, WRT stands for with respect to. Uh, with respect to time, you get velocity. And when you differentiate velocity, when you differentiate velocity with respect to WRT t, you get acceleration. And going conversely, if you go opposite, if you integrate integrate acceleration with respect to time you get velocity and opposite of differentiation is integration so integrate or integrate velocity with respect to time you get distance okay so that is an idea we you need to understand okay so let me change color so what's the question here yeah? So this is a function s with respect to time and you want to find velocity. So we can say v, v is nothing but ds by dt. So when you differentiate with respect to t, uh, so let me write this s is nothing but one sixth of t cube minus quarter t. So when you differentiate uh, distance with respect to time, so if you differentiate uh, this with respect to time, so you say 1 sixth times 3t squared minus 1 quarter, uh, so this is t squared, sorry, so 1 quarter times 2t, 
I hope you understand the differentiation of power. Drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. So 3 comes down and then you decrease this power by 1 which is 2. And when you differentiate t squared you get 2t. So let me uh, do the working here. Okay, I'll try to finish it. So your s, oh, sorry, v is, when you, you simplify this, so this is 1 6 times 3 is half t squared, am I right, minus half t. So velocity as a function of time is this. So the question is find the band's velocity at the end of 6 seconds. So we can write, uh, we can write v uh, is of course ds by dt when time is equal to 6 seconds. So you have to substitute 6, six in this equation so which is half times 6 squared minus half times 6. So this is half times 36 minus 6. Alright? No, minus 3. Half of 6 is 3. Okay, so I'm trying to squeeze this. So this is half of 36 is 18 minus 3, which is 15 meters per second. So the velocity of the van after 6 seconds, if the displacement or distance travel is given this function, you get the velocity as uh, 15 meters per second. Okay, let us look at this question. This question was a merit question. And this is an excellent question. I'll try to finish it uh, within 15 minutes. I want, don't want to make the videos too long. Okay, so let's read the question. Uh, let me bring this up. And okay, where is my car? Okay, the car is here. That's a racing car. Okay, so let's read the question. The question is, a car is traveling at a constant speed of 14 meters per second. It passes a sign, sign. It passes a sign changing the speed to 19.4 meters per second, which is 90, sorry, 70 kilometers per hour, and immediately accelerates. The acceleration meters per second squared of the car t seconds after it passes the sign is given by this function. And you want to find the distance traveled by the car after passing the sign before reaching the speed of. So basically what's happened, this car was constantly going at a speed of 14 meters per uh, second. Okay, probably this is, if you change this into kilometers, probably it is 50 kilometers, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, that's not the point. From then the sign came, the speed sign came and the car increased or accelerated and it reached 70 kilometers per hour or 14 meters per second. Okay, so the function of acceleration is this. So you want to find the distance. So let me, ex so let me rewrite. So when you, act, when you integrate A or acceleration with respect to time, you get velocity, okay? And uh, when you integrate velocity with respect to time, you get distance. So you're going backwards. So first let us find velocity and from velocity we'll find distance. So we know the function, or so we know a as a function of t. So we can from a, if you integrate a with respect to time, you get the velocity. So a, so we can, so we can write v is integration of a dt. So which is integration of uh, 1 twelfth t plus 1 quarter dt. So when you're integrating, you know you increase the power by 1 and you divide by the same power. This is 1 twelfth, sorry, 1 twelfth. So this is 1 twelfth times t squared over 2. And here, this is t to the power 0. Here, let me write that properly. So it's 1 quarter, 0.25 I have written as a quarter. 
it's a quarter times t to the power 0 dt. So when you integrating one quarter t, it becomes t to the power 0 becomes one quarter t plus the constant of integration because this is an indefinite integration. So velocity is this function. So let us simplify the so velocity is 1 out of or 1 over 24 t squared plus 1 quarter t plus c. So now we have to think whether can we find this constant of integration? What information do we have? Okay, when time is 0, what was the velocity of the car? Okay, so the velocity, of course, is a, it's, it says it's speed, uh, but we can treat this as a, because for velocity we need the direction, the direction is not given, so let's presume it's going at a particular direc uh, direction. So this, this is telling me, uh, there's someone on Skype, I have to change my status, okay. So yeah, uh, oh, let me come back, I lost track. So yeah, so at this time, when time started, can we say this means when time is zero, the velocity is 14 meters per second. That's when the time started, okay, for this problem. So we can say, well, putting t, when t is zero, v is equal to 14. So let us put this into this. this. Can I say 14 is equal to, this becomes 0, this becomes 0. So c is 14. So velocity of the car is 1, out, 1 over 24 t squared plus 1 quarter t plus 14. So this is the function of velocity. Now we can find distance in two different ways. If you integrate, uh, okay, so now the question is, it reaches the speed of 19.4 meters per second. So we need to find after how many seconds or for what, after how many seconds it reached this. Okay, so we know, we know the function of velocity. So let me write velocity, change color. So velocity, we know is 1 out of 24 t squared plus 1 quarter t plus 14. So we know velocity is 19.4. We want to find what time. That's what we want to find because that will help us to find the distance function. So at what time or after how many seconds, basically we're asking the car uh, reach the speed of 19.4. So let us put this back into this equation. So 19.4 is equal to 1 over 24 t squared plus 1 quarter t plus 14. So if you take 19.4 from both sides, you can say 0 is equal to 1 out of 24, 1 over 24 t squared plus 1 quarter t minus 5.4. I'm taking 19.4 from both sides. So this has become a quadratic equation of 1 over 24 t squared plus 1 quarter t minus 5.4 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to use my graphic calculator to solve this. I'm not, you can do this without the graphic calculator, but it'll take a long time. So as I'm allowed to use a calculator, so let me use the tool. So you go to menu, and then you go to equation, and this is polynomial, second degree. Your A is 1 divided by 24. You type in 1 divided by 24. Your B is 1 divided by 4, which is 0.25, and your C is minus 5.4. So there should be two values of T. The positive value of t is what we are taking. So t is 8.773 in three uh, or four significant significant figures or three decimal points. 8.773. So we can say t that we accepting is 8.773. So 
0.773 seconds, your velocity is 19.4 meters per second. So, basically, if you want to find distance, we can integrate this function. Sorry, we can integrate this velocity function. The velocity function, okay, so this is a velocity function. So, if you integrate, if you use a definite integration between 0 to 8.773, that will give you the distance. So, let us use that. So, S would be the definite integration between 0 to 8.773, 8.773 of V dt. Okay, when you integrate velocity, you get distance. And if you do the integ definite integration between 0 to 8.773, that will give you the distance that is covered. So, so let's write that. So this is integration, definite integration from 0 to 8.773 of what? What was the function? 1 over 24 t squared. Yeah. 1 over 24 t squared plus 1 quarter t plus 14. So it's 1 over... 24 t squared plus 1 quarter t plus 14 dt. And you can use a cal calculator. This is a being a bit cheeky, but I'll show you one. You can also do this in a different way, but I, I'm running out of time. I, want, I wanted to finish it within 15 minutes, but I'm running over time. But this is a good option. You go to option, you go to calculus, that is F4, and this is definite integration. You type in, uh, this is t squared divided by, so you can say x squared divided by 24 plus x divided by 4 uh, plus 14. And then you have to do, put a comma here. It is 0 to 8.773. So this is, this will give me the answer which is 141.8 meters was covered within this uh, nine seconds. What was the answer? 141.82 meters. 141.82 meters in 2 dp. You can check this answer on the marking schedule. Uh, so this is the marking schedule that I've got. You can see the distance here. I can this is the answer, which is 141.8. They have done this in a different way, but I have used a different technique to get the same answer. This is one of the longest videos that I have made. See you in the next video.